Diabetic retinopathy is the most common vascular complication in patients with diabetes. And it's really the term for what happens when we see changes in the eye of somebody with diabetes. So uh, we see these changes particularly in the retina. The retina is the thin film or membrane that lines the back of the eye. And what happens is it contains the light sensing cells. So that light that comes into the eye actually gets sensed by the cells in the retina. And these cells then transmit the light and the information through the optic nerve into the brain so that it gets processed. And diabetic retinopathy, um, we see changes in the blood vessels in the retina. And if left untreated, then those changes can lead to things like scar tissue across the retina, traction retinal detachments, and also loss of vision from swelling in the center of the retina, also called diabetic macular edema. The fortunate thing is that we have treatments these days that are better and better for patients who have diabetic retinopathy or, or eye complications from diabetes. Um, for advanced diabetic retinopathy, where new blood vessels actually grow on the retina and can spread across the retina, we now have uh, laser treatments. These have been around for 25 to 30 years or so. Um, and the laser treatments often create areas of scarring around the peripheral retina so that we can save the visually important central retina. For diabetic macular edema, we have laser treatment as well in a much milder form. But we've also um, had the, the, on the advent of anti-VEGF treatments. Anti-VEGF stands for anti-vascular endothelial growth factor, or anti-VEGF agents. And these were actually developed um, out of work that was done uh, at Joslin, as well as at other centers around the, the globe. Um, but some of the early studies from the Joslin, led by Dr. Lloyd Paul Aiello and Dr. George King, who serves as the research director at Joslin, showed that levels of VEGF or VEGF were higher in the eyes of patients with diabetic eye complications than those with uh, less active diabetes in their eyes. And so we can now use these medications um, that target VEGF and block the VEGF signals to actually reduce the amount of leakiness of the blood vessels and also reduce the amount of new blood vessels growing in the eye.